All right, welcome back Matrix for the final video on exchange rates. So we're going to look at what's called the Big Mac Index. This is following on from the last video uh, regarding the buying power. All right, so one buying power measure is called the Big Mac Index. It was made up by economists in a sort of joking way, but turned out to be rather useful. How does it work? Well, this compares the price of a Big Mac in different countries in dollars. Just the burger, not with any sides or anything, just the hamburger itself. In an ideal situation, the price of the burger would be the same in each country when converted to dollars, showing that the exchange rates are accurate and there is equal buying power in each country. So you would assume that it would cost you exactly the same to get the same type of food wherever you're going. What we find out is often this is not the case. It's usually cheaper to buy the burger in other places or more expensive in other places depending on buying power etc remember buying power has to do also with relative income so the income levels in those countries might be higher let's take a look at an old index they're looking at uh, july 2017 and january 2018 with the price of a big mac the exchange rate that they used they went and made sure that the exchange rates were exactly the same it was on the 17th of January 2018. Uh, on that day, just for your interest with the rands, it was 12 rand 30, 55 to the dollar. Okay. So, if we take a look, you'll see that the United States, they had a Big Mac price of $5.28. And then you look at the different countries. So, Switzerland had really expensive, you had to pay six dollars 76 when converted from the uh, swiss francs to dollars right whereas right down at the bottom russia was the cheapest and surprisingly south africa was the second cheapest so what it actually tells us is the buying power of the rand was actually quite strong at this point and it has actually remained pretty strong that's why you find that south africa attracts tourists and foreign investments because what you get for your foreign uh, foreign money, like dollars and euros and pounds, it's going to be good here. All right. And so what you could actually say here is that the rand is quite badly undervalued. All right. It should be worth a lot more. In this case, if you take a look at the chart, it's just over 50% undervalued. So the exchange rate should have been far closer to six rand to the dollar at this point, depending on the cost of living, etc. All right. So as I said, this is a bit of a silly measure, but can come up as rather useful. You will find in questions that they'll sometimes use a variety of different items where you're comparing the buying power between countries. All right. Hopefully that's helpful and stay safe.